I heard the Lord say that this coming season is going to be great. And in order for you to get the fullness out of this coming season, you have to have a specific loyalty to him where you have to resolve in your heart. It doesn't matter who comes, who goes. It doesn't matter who I lose. It doesn't matter what happens. For Christ I live and for Christ I die. Now the issue is that up until this point, some of our loyalty to other people, um, to traditions, to organizations, to the way things have been done, supersedes our loyalty to God. You know, the scripture talks about honoring your father and your mother and how it will go well with you and your days will be long, but, but you don't honor your father and your mother above God because he's your father. He's your eternal father. He's, he's the father of all. And so we have to take this time to evaluate if the things around us, if, if the, the way we're headed, the way we've been doing things is because we're, we're steady trying to imitate another man or, or, or does it look like imitating Christ? Because everything Christ did was to show us who the Father is, to show us what the Father wanted from us, to show us uh, the way to the Father. And, and, and so, and Christ did that perfectly. And so if the things that we're doing does not look like Christ, or even worse, if it looks like the things that he spoke against, then this is the time to reevaluate, you know, what's going on. Because... In this next coming season, you must have a loyalty to God above anybody else, above your earthly mother, above your earthly father, above your earthly spouse, above uh, your siblings. And, and you have to be willing to, to, to follow God. Even if other people want to follow, you know, uh, the way another man did it in the past and they're trying to get their mantle and they're trying to, you know, imitate another man. You know, Paul said, be therefore imitators of Christ. He said, follow me as I follow Christ. You know, I bet you that person that you're trying to imitate wasn't intended for you to actually imitate them. They were trying to follow Christ too, but somehow you've lost your way because they're your focus. No, God is your focus. And, and in this next coming hour, we have to be loyal to the way he did. You know, were you baptized in the name of that parent? Were you baptized in the name of that pastor? Paul said the same thing, you know, when they were like, you know, well, well, you know, I'm, I'm baptized by Paul and all this stuff. And he's like, you know, first off, I'm glad that I only baptized a couple of you. <laughs> You know, but he's like, you weren't baptized in the, the, the name of Paul. But this thing isn't about Paul. This thing isn't about a man. It's about God. And, and he's saying, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Is it going to be him in this coming hour? Or is it going to be man? Because if you choose to keep following man, and you don't choose to look at him and look to him, that you're not going to go as far as he planned for you to go in this coming hour. And so God bless you.